Questionable actions by Phoenix police officers after restraining a man before he died in custody. ABC 15's investigator Melissa Blazius first talked to loved ones who wanted police held accountable nearly four years ago. Now a federal judge has denied the police department's request for officer immunity and says the family's lawsuit can now go to trial. Phoenix police make a tackling arrest of Ramon Timothy Lopez in August 2020. Lopez, accused of minor crimes, was acting erratically. Officers used a rip restraint to bind Lopez's feet, attaching the rope to the back of his handcuffs. Some call this hog tying. Ah, a federal judge in a ruling this week says the officers acted within the law up until this point, where Lopez is fully restrained. But the judge says because of what happened next, the excessive force, failure to intervene, and wrongful death claims will move forward. Saying a reasonable jury would conclude the officer defendants were deliberately indifferent to a serious risk to Lopez's safety, while Officer Mosley kneeled against Lopez after he was rip restrained, and when they decided to transport Lopez in the manner that they did. That's because the risk of death by positional asphyxia is so well known that Phoenix police policy states officers will minimize face down exposure of the prisoner and they should place prisoners in an upright position on their side or back. But Lopez was face down, both with that officer kneeling on his back and in the patrol car where he lost consciousness. It's something ABC 15 pointed out just days after Lopez died as we talked to the mother of his two young sons. I feel like they could have done something. Um, and I just feel like they cheated my kids of their dad. So a jury could decide whether those officers will be held liable for Lopez's death unless there's a settlement. In the last few years, the city did settle two similar prone restraint cases. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you.